All right, so in this video, we're going to work on converting permutations given in Cauchy's notation into modern cycle notation. So for example, in A here, we're going to start by looking at, say, the number 1. We could just start with anywhere, but just for simplicity, we start with 1. And we ask, where does 1 go? And we see 1 goes to 5. And we ask, where does 5 go? And it actually goes back to 1. So we're going to close off the cycle. Okay, now we choose some number we haven't used yet, like 2. And we ask, where does 2 go? And, well, actually, 2 doesn't go anywhere, so we're not going to write it down. It's fine. Next thing, how about 3? Three? 3 goes to 4, so we can start writing that. 3 goes to 4. Where does 4 go? 4 goes to 7. Where does 7 go? 7 goes to 6. And 6 goes back to 3, so we can close off that cycle. All right. Let's see about B. So again, we're going to just pick anywhere to start, and I'll, I'll take A. And A goes to F. F goes to D. D goes back to A, so I can close off the cycle. All right, we'll start a new cycle. How about we'll start with B. B goes to E. E, well, E goes back to B, so we'll close the cycle. Now let's see, C goes to C, so we don't have to write that. And G goes to G. We don't have to write that either. So in fact, A, F, D, B, E is the 